I've made multiple videos about Vencord, which is a client modification for Discord that allows you to add extra features to Discord through plugins like Fake Nitro, which gives you some Discord Nitro features for free. And everything sounds pretty good about Vencord, but there's a whole other side to Vencord which I need to talk about. Because it's risky, it could get you banned, or even hacked. And I'm talking about custom Vencord plugins. Now, if you install Vencord like a normal person and don't muck around with anything, if you go into your settings and go to the Vencord plugins tab, all of the plugins that you can enable are safe. And they go through a really rigorous vetting phase by the Vencord developers, and the Vencord developers make sure that these plugins don't abuse Discord's API, so the risk of you getting banned for using Vencord is pretty close to zero. Honestly, it's zero, but there might be a one in gazillion chance that someone gets banned. And to be honest, the only risk I've seen with people using Vencord is that if they post a screenshot of their modded Discord client to a Discord server, you might have some power-tripping Discord mod get mad that you're breaking Discord's rules, and then they ban you off your favorite Pokemane feat server. That's oddly specific for some reason. But honestly, other than that, Vencord is practically idiot-proof, which is why I like talking about it. It works perfectly for me. But that's for the plugins that come with Vencord, and there's that whole other side of Vencord with custom plugins, which is a whole entire different beast. So you can find custom Vencord plugins anywhere, and in fact, if you go on the Vencord Discord server, which I'll have linked in the description, they have a channel called Unofficial Plugins that is filled with a whole bunch of either completely pointless or fun or useful plugins that you can install at your own risk. And the reason why it's at your own risk is because if we scroll up to the very top, anything from this channel is not officially supported. Because if you download any custom Vencord plugin, whether it be from here or any other place on the internet, it hasn't gone through that rigorous vetting process to make sure that it's safe for you to use so you don't get banned, or if it's safe, as in you won't get hacked by it. But if you're ever thinking about using a custom Vencord plugin, you need to understand that you need to go through the code of the plugin and make sure it's safe yourself. And to be honest, to even install a custom plugin, it requires a bit of coding knowledge, so for most people this is something they won't even bother with, which is why I didn't really talk about it, but what if there was a plugin that every single snot-nosed Discord nerd wanted, a custom Vencord plugin that was so tempting and so powerful that it would make people go through this whole entire tutorial even if they had no idea what they're doing? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I found a custom plugin that can crash people on Discord. If they click on your Discord stream, they instantly crash. But it turns out to make people crash on Discord, it's just using a custom plugin called Better Screen Share. And this plugin's actually really cool because what it allows you to do is when you go to share your screen on Discord and, oh, you can, you guys can see that I use a script. Oh, that's sad. Now you guys are going to think I'm a loser. But if you go to stream something on Discord, you now have these advanced stream settings. And this plugin allows you to customize the resolution, the frame rate, the video bit rate, and audio settings. This is like a really cool plugin. So Phil, good job. I'm going to have this in the description, but I'm not going to fully recommend it. Again, it's a custom plugin. You need to go through the code yourself and vet it. There's a reason why I'm using this on an alt account I don't care about, just in case. But I'm only having it in the description so people don't try to copycat this plugin and make something a little more sinister, and we'll get to that later. But people figured out a little bit of a special trick. If you screen share at either some weird resolution, or you screen share in a very high frame rate, like 999 frames per second, then it could cause problems for people that want to view your stream. So I'm going to apply these stream settings. Go live. I'm going to be be honest with you, my computer's feeling a little bit slower. So on the left here, if I join the screen share, you'll notice that it's 720p 30fps, because I think Discord's trying to fix this, and they're like halfway there, so this probably won't work after this video. But if I go to change my stream settings, so I change Windows, click on Discord again, go to my advanced settings, and I apply this 999 frames per second frame rate, I mean, you're gonna notice. I click on apply, boom, instantly crash. There's no delay. That's kind of satisfying. I like that. I feel powerful. Am I a power-tripping Discord mod? Now, when Unfortunately, I can't claim to be the first person to do this, because somewhere in the Discord universe, some Discord script kitty used this plugin and crashed a bunch of people in a voice call. But they didn't tell anyone what they did, they kept it as a secret. And rumors about this spread like wildfire. But the word on the Discord streets was that people heard there was a secret Vencord plugin that would crash people on Discord. And every single stupid Discord moron wanted this plugin so that they could crash people on Discord and be the most epic. Discord gangster. And when you have stupid Discord kids acting like that, they're gonna download anything to try and crash people on Discord. And that's really how this whole entire video actually came to life, because one of my viewers sent me this plugin called Stream Crasher. And remember my warning that I told you before? Whenever you run any custom Vencord plugin, you must do your due diligence and check the code yourself. And ladies and
and gentlemen, this video gets even more nerdy. I don't know how that's possible, but we're looking into the code. Now, hopefully, if I've done a good job at actually doing my job, you should understand what should happen. It should either change your streaming resolution to be something that would crash people, or change your FPS to be 999. But with this code, however, ladies and gentlemen, it is the biggest piece of shit. I've ever seen on the planet. My favorite part, this is the cherry on top. The person who made this code put their Discord account in it, as if it's their masterpiece, set a bull. Now, I'll explain what this code does, and if you still don't understand, I'll show you how it looks when you actually run it at the end. Well, what this plugin does is it adds a button to your Discord. In fact, this button is on the bottom left next to your muted button, and it's a super sick skull and crossbones. This sh is f an epic, bro. It also shows the dude's name when you hover over the button, which makes it even worse. But what happens when we click on this button? Well, we go back to the nerdy code, we look at on click, and what happens is when you click the button, it creates a constant variable called data. And the variable data is A to B and then a whole bunch of garbage. Now, what is A to B or A tob or however you want to pronounce it? I'm going to get yelled at in the comments. I already know. Well, A to B is a function that converts base 64 decoding, which is the most advanced encryption algorithm algorithm on the planet. It does absolutely nothing. Because if I copy this and go into a website, which is base64 decoding, and I paste in this random chunk of text and I click on decode, oh, look at that. There's something we can read. It turns out it is a link to HKDK events with a whole bunch of numbers at the end. Now, what happens when I go to this website? Well, uh, not a whole lot. It's just this random text saying this endpoint supports receiving webhooks and a whole bunch of other stuff that most people don't understand. But in fact, this is actually a bit of a clue. Because what an endpoint is, is basically a part of a website that can send and receive data. So what that means is that this plugin is either receiving data, maybe adding more code that's trying to be hidden, or maybe it's sending my data to the person who made the plugin. Now, since this gave me an error, it means that it's not trying to get data. Because if I went to this website, it would just show me all the code it's trying to add. So it's sending off my data. And in fact, I wanted to figure out what this website was, hkdk.events. And it turns out it's actually nothing special. It's just using hookdeck.com. But what hookdeck allows you to do is use Use this URL to send information to another website. So they have a couple of examples here. They have like Shopify, Stripe, PayPal, GitLab, GitHub. So what's going on is that this random chunk of data is pointing to a website. And if we send information to this website, it'll go through hook deck and send it to some other location. And I already know what you're thinking. What sort of data are they sending? So if we go back to the code first, I can see that they're sending a post request. So they are sending information. And what they're sending is in this body field here. It's some JSON stringify data crash store a to b crash log now first what is crash store i've never really heard of this before and it turns out if you just scroll up a little bit in the code there is another constant variable set and this is actually a function find by props lazy and this is a function that just searches for things and what is it searching for well we see a to b again the advanced military grade encryption technique 4d technology base 64 encoding and it's encoding crash log now what is crash log well you don't have to look very far if you look up crash log is this chunk of text here. And let's figure out what this is by again decoding it with base64. So I paste this bad boy in, I click decode, and it says get token. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely not suspicious, boys. Now if you don't know, your Discord token is basically a long chunk of text that allows anyone to log into your Discord account. It bypasses two-factor authentication. It's something that you want to make sure no one else has. And well, what does this code do? Well, it searches for that get token by using the find by props function. So it's looking for your Discord token it stores it in crash store and then through this function it sends off crash store which is your discord token to this guy's website when you click on the button and in fact i no text to speech finally dropped some money on this channel because i hired nasa simulation technology to show you what happens when you use this plugin as in i just changed the plugin to remove the malware in it so hello we have the user stream crasher this accent is going to fall apart the longer i use it we have the stream running someone watching the stream and when i press on the big skull and crossbones button, which is designed beautifully. When I click on it, nothing f***ing happens. The accent fell apart at this point. But when I click on this button, doesn't matter how many times I click on it. Hold on. I'm going to click on it. I bring in the... You can hear the clicking. I'm clicking on this bad boy and absolutely nothing is happening. So no one crashed. And it actually turns out when I press this button, NASA technology happens and kaboom, it sends my Discord token to the guy who made this plugin so that he could hack into my account or do whatever the heck he wants. He can spam scams to my friends, can nuke my Discord server. You can do whatever he wants. So at the end of the day, when you press this button,
button, no one crashes, and you got hacked. And thank you to that good old NASA scientist for the simulation that cost me 50 grand to do. Anyways, this was definitely a nerdy video to be sure, but I thought it was important given how big Vencord is, and I want to make sure if you install custom plugins, you don't, like, you know, get yourself hacked. Anyways, bye-bye, sweetheart. I love you. Mwah!